How to not suck at Counter-Strike GO Inferno Smoke Tips Smoke grenades can provide a huge tactical advantage if used effectively, so right now we'll take a look at the terrorist smokes on this map. And the most basic one is just down the middle here, you ideally want to throw it from this area here at the start of the round. And this prevents the CT from just spotting you, you know, calling out to their team where you went, or just sniping you if they have like a pot of sniper or scout. And you have to coordinate with your team when doing this because if you have a sniper on your team, they're going to be useless for a while if they wanted to watch the middle. So when I say coordinate, I don't mean just uh, yell out into the mic, hey, I'm throwing a smoke in the middle. I mean, ask if anybody wants to snipe on your team, double check and go from there. Then moving up this big hallway, typically you don't use a smoke grenade, it will be a very unorthodox strategy. Usually people throw flashbangs here and just move in quickly and go for the kill. However, if you are rotating from somewhere into this B hallway, or maybe you were just too slow to get there, and you think or you know that an enemy is waiting in this car region, maybe they have a sniper or something, then a smoke grenade can be useful. So you can throw it from over here, um, just make sure that the enemy can't see you while you throw it, so you bounce it off that wall a little bit, wait for it to pop, and now you are free to move up here without worrying about the person at the car. So. Just to summarize, this is useful when you are rotating or maybe you are too late uh, get in getting here and you know or think that an enemy is over there. Do not use this if you are going to be rushing this uh, B hallway here. In that case, either just go for the shootout or use your flashbangs. If you are quickly moving up this hallway with your team, there is no real need to throw a smoke. However, if you are rotating or if you were just late like in the previous clip, maybe you can throw a smoke up here in the balcony because there might be a player there. Alternatively, you can get the smoke in here on the left side, and that prevents uh, just if anyone's camping over there waiting for you. Uh, this is also useful in the case that uh, your team didn't throw a smoke over here like from the first clip, so this is just to cover yourself. But generally, at the start of a round, if you're just quickly moving up this hallway, there is probably no need to throw smoke. Obviously, you need to uh, use your judgment to, to see the situation, but as a general rule of thumb, you shouldn't have to uh, throw smoke. Heading into the apartments is very tricky because the enemy can get you from a lot of locations. So this hallway here, this room here, the stairs here, or this room here. So if you want to say, uh, move into this hallway here, what you can do is throw a smoke grenade like this, bounce it around that area, and this prevents the enemies from the stairs and from the other doorway from shooting at you. You still have to be mindful in this room here and obviously the hallway, so you can just throw flashbangs and clear out the area with your team. If you're going into the apartments and want to move, push on straight ahead, what you can do is throw a very unorthodox smoke grenade like this, so you bounce it off the wall, it covers that hallway, you have to be careful uh, to throw it uh, very to the right, because if you throw it too much on the left you will just block yourself. So I like to mix this area up, throw a smoke grenade here, flashbang here, and of course if you're moving up you have to be mindful of uh, people waiting at the stairs or in this room here. This smoke grenade is very unorthodox, you will hardly ever see it, because it is very easy to screw up uh, screw up the throw and completely botch your, own, uh, botch your own attack and get lost in your own smoke. So if you're going to be doing this, please 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 coordinate with your team and uh, make sure that you are, you know, capable of throwing accurately. If you have successfully pushed directly through the apartments, you will be in this area here in limbo because uh, enemies can wait on the left side or the right side and you don't really have a way of knowing. So one of your other teammates should have a smoke or maybe you haven't used yours yet and you can just throw it very simply like this to cover your left side. This leaves you open to move out and check the right side here and push into A if you want. Once your team is successfully planted, the smoke grenades still have an effective role to play. If you or your teammates still have some, wait until you hear or see the enemy coming before using them. So if you are, let's say, over here and you heard an enemy coming from this area here or maybe one of your other teammates saw it, you simply, you know, come into position, bounce it off the wall around there and now the city has to go through the smoke in order to get to the bomb uh, the alternative is to take a different route for which uh, ideally you will have teammates watching. So this applies to any bomb site on any map. If you still have smoke grenades after you've planted the bomb, wait until you see or hear the enemy, throw the smokes at his position in order to force him into a different location or to simply just wait him out.
CT smoke tactics are actually pretty similar to the previous clip, so let's say you're at B here, you can just throw a smoke like this, and what this does is, if the enemy is coming from B, you are either delaying them, so they will wait for the smoke to clear, or they will change uh, location. So this gives you more time to set up and coordinate with your team if that's necessary, and more importantly, it ticks down the timer, and of course, as you know, when the timer reaches zero, uh, the round ends and the defending team will win if the bomb has not been planted and stuff. There are some good smoking locations at A for cities as well, so if you're in this hallway, what you can do is angle your smoke here so it goes down the stairs, and this will ideally either prevent or delay the terrorists from moving up the apartments if they were planning to do so. As a general rule of thumb, when you are CT and using smoke grenades, you are doing them uh, to sort of wall off the bomb site so that you are either delaying the enemy or forcing them into an alternate route. You can throw smoke grenades preemptively or you can do it based on where you see and hear the enemy. You just have to coordinate with your team so that you don't screw up your plans. As always, thank you for watching and sharing these videos. If you want to check, it, uh, check out this guide on the Steam page, I've included the link in the description. And actually, I was gonna kill some chickens here, but now they're gone, and I'm sad.